Hi, the Visual Designer Studio or VDS included now in Quartus Prime Pro is a solution designed to boost your development workflow, simplifying design entry and system integration, thus reducing time to market. This demo provides a brief introduction to the tool by building a simple yet complete design based on a hard processor system. Note, Visual Designer Studio is a beta feature. It should not be used for production designs. The topics that will be covered in this demo will be a brief description of the system to build, a concise introduction to the Visual Designer Studio or VDS that includes how to create new systems, adding components, connecting them, and more. Then a spotlight on two important features, the hierarchical design and address map viewer, and finally a conclusion of the demo. The hard processor system or HPS with an external memory interface or MF based design mimics the golden hardware reference design and it's composed by HPS, MF for HPS, and a set of the Balkan peripheral IPs in the FPGA. It's suitable to be tested in an Agilex 5 FPGA E-Series 065B Premium Development Kit, and it can be customized to fit to your own needs. In this demo, two subsystems will be created, one for the HPS and MFIPs, and one for the peripherals. The rest of the components, together with the subsystems, will be added in a top-level system. Previously, Quartus Prime Pro provided system integration capabilities through Platform Designer or PD that simplifies design entry using the Alter Interconnect, which drives data flow between IPs and components with standard interfaces. VDS is an enhancement over PD, as it leverages the reliable Alter Interconnect, but with a newer, easier to use, and plenty of features graphical user interface. To create a new VDS system, you must have a Quartus project opened, then go to Tools in the menu bar and select Visual Designer Studio. Next, in the System Setup dialog, select New System and define a name for your system. Then click OK. You may check Show All Systems in this project to make sure you don't repeat a name or if you want to open an existing system. Now, let's review some actions you can do in VDS. But first, make sure there's a system opened in the tool. Thus, First, create a new system and name it Peripheral Subsys. The Peripheral Subsystem is composed by three parallel I.O. Avalon memory mapped by Pline Bridge IP, a System ID Peripheral IP, and Clock and Reset Bridges. Refer to the companion document in the resources at the end of the demo to obtain their parameterization. To add an IP to your system, look for it on the IP catalog. Then select it and drag and drop onto the canvas. Finally, change the required parameters, assign a name to the IP variation, and click Finish to accept the changes. You will now see a rectangle with rounded corners on the canvas. Observe that there are two types of ports those that drive bare signals or nets, and those that adhere to a standard interface, like AXI or Avalon Memory Mapped. Once you have added a component, you can move it around the canvas by selecting it and dragging it around. You can do it with more than one element at a time. To connect the ports, VDS endows you with several options. When you click on the port you want to connect, fly lines appear indicating possible connections. You can check destinations in the connections frame, or you can double click on the required fly lines. If you select a fly line, it will be highlighted. This also occurs with the corresponding row in the connections frame. You must note that selecting a fly line can be done by clicking or right-clicking over the fly line. If you select it by clicking, once you click again, the connection will be executed. If you select with right-click, a menu will be displayed and there you can select the option to make the connection. If you right-click over the port, then a menu will pop up. Selecting the connections item will show a submenu with possible destinations. Just click those which you need. Finally, this same menu will show the option export, useful if you want to send 
a port to an upper hierarchy. Complete the connections and exports as described in the document. Then assign addresses to subordinated interfaces in the system with the address map viewer. This tool will be commented later. Here you can go with auto assign system. Then you need to validate the system before saving it. Click on the DRC button. Finally, save and close. The next subsystem includes the HPS, the MF for HPS, and an F2S DRAM adapter. Find information of their parameters in the resources at the end of this video. A new feature included in VDS, the Tickle console, is used to build the subsystem. In particular, the video shows how you can add IPs with massive amount of parameters to your systems without the need of handling them within the GUI. This is one of the benefits provided by this tool. By default, you will find the Tickle console at the bottom of the VDS GUI. The actions you execute in VDS GUI have their corresponding Tickle command. From creation of the system to generation, the set of commands that VDS provides lends itself for a script-based system manipulation. The following flow showcases this tool. Add the remaining component of your system with the create cell command, then connect the modules and export the remaining ports. Next, assign base addresses and validate the system. Finally, save it. Observe that you can access to the history of the tickle commands issued during this session in the history tab. You can export your systems with the export system command. This is very useful for using and sharing systems with your team. An important feature of VDS is the hierarchical based design. This enables designers to divide bigger systems into smaller, easier to build ones. VDS provides two ways to work with hierarchies. The first one is block grouping, so keep building your design and see how to create a group. First, create the top system and name it QC's top. Then, add the required IPs. Recall that further information related to the component is provided in the companion document. Now, connect the IPs that will be part of the group and select them with Ctrl click. Then, right click over them to get the context menu. Select Create Hierarchy and assign a name to the group. Now, these components will be replaced in the canvas by a new single block. You can see the insides of this block by clicking on the top left plus icon and disaggregate the components by right clicking on the group block and selecting Dissolve Hierarchy. The second approach is called System Referencing. Recall that you have already created two subsystems. To add them to the top system, Right click on an empty space in the canvas. A dialog showing systems existing in the project will pop up. Select the one you want to add and press enter or double click it. Assign a name for the instance when you are prompted to do it. After, you will see a new block on your canvas. It's yellow by default. Finalize your system adding the remaining subsystem, connecting the blocks and exporting the outstanding ports. Don't forget to run DRC on your system before saving it. Finally, you can generate the system. Now, let's see another feature that helps in the design development, the Address Map Viewer. You can access it with the highlighted button in the vertical toolbar. Once the Address Map Viewer opens, you can view the canvas and the Address Map Viewer side by side, right-clicking on whichever tab and selecting Tile Tabs. The Address Map Viewer is an enhancement over the one provided in Platform Designer, as it allows you to view and modify the base addresses for memory mapped interfaces. But now you will be able to view the global address map, provided you are at the top level hierarchy. The global address map is divided by domains, where a domain is a set of managers and subordinates that share an interconnect, as depicted in the image. The global address map shows that domain 0 contains three masters and also tells which subordinates are connected to which master. Finally, 
If you go deep inside the hierarchy, the address map viewer will update to show only addresses inside that hierarchy. As we reach the end of the presentation, let's recap the key takeaways of the demo. The Visual Designer Studio provides you with an enhanced design entry tool to build systems, including features such as hierarchical support and the global address map viewer. We leveraged this tool to create a basic but powerful design that includes HPS and fabric side IPs. You can explore further looking at the indicated resources. Finally, please remind that this is a beta feature not intended for production designs. Expect enhancements on future releases, so stay tuned. This concludes this video. Thank you.